Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to Minute on the Mountain. Sure appreciate all you guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the comments that you leave. Uh, thanks for the encouragement that you give. I want to kick off this fishing video today with the Minute on the Mountain. And I'm going to read it for you. It comes from Proverbs chapter 10, verse 19. It says, Sin is not ended by multiplying words, but the prudent hold their tongues. <laughs> I can't think of how many times I could have stayed out of sinful thought patterns, sinful words, sinful actions if I would have just bit my tongue. Now, I'm not saying there's not a time to you know, have hard conversations as long as we do it in love and do it in gentleness. But so often I start griping and complaining and then that gets my blood boiling and then that leads to, to other sin, whether it's pride or uh, selfishness or whatever. So I'm going to try and remind myself this week when things get a little dicey just to hold my tongue, just to ask the Holy Spirit to give me patience, to be slow to speak, slow to anger, you know, quick to listen. So again, that's Proverbs 10, 19. Uh, the channel shout out that I want to do for today's video is Rob Bassmaster. Obviously a lot of bass fishing videos. He does them from the bank. He does a lot of kayak bass fishing. I actually haven't seen a lot of videos out from him recently. I'm guessing he just got busy with other stuff, but I really enjoy his videos. Uh, on quite a few of his videos, he'll you know say something about, about the Lord or about the Bible. And uh, I know that if you guys know me, those are the kind of videos that I enjoy watching as well. So uh, those are the two things I wanted to lead this off with, the Men on the Mountain and the channel shout out. And then lastly, I wanted to show you a little goodie that came in the mail for me. And I, I bought this. I didn't win it or no one gave, nobody gave it to me. But when I first bought my muzzle loader here in the state of Utah, you were not allowed to have a magnifying scope on it. They've since changed that rule, but I've always still shot open sights. I bought a scope for it last Christmas. It was my Christmas present, but I hadn't put it on yet. I went into one of the local gun stores and I couldn't find a single set of rings or a rail that would fit that particular muzzle loader. So I ordered the rail and ordered the rings. Uh, that came in earlier this week, so I'm going to get that mounted. I'll have a scope for our muzzleloader this year. My son Andrew has a muzzleloader deer tag, so I'm really excited to get that on and, and get him out on the range and have him shoot a little bit and get comfortable with it. So thanks for coming along. Today is a fishing trip out on the Blacksmith Fork River. Uh, I mean, I caught six or seven fish. I can't remember now. In fact, on the video I say I lost track. I think it ended up being seven. None of them were real big, but maybe the prettiest colored fish I've caught all year. So hope you guys enjoy it. Thanks for coming along. God bless you guys. Oh, I got off. Had a little one on, guys. Uh-oh, that could be in the tree. Yep. Got lucky on that cast. Oh man, like six just came so now seven, eight, they're raw getting pushed down. I don't know what spooked him, I just had about eight swim downstream from me. A couple of them look like white fish. I never have luck catching white fish. All the years I've fished up here, I've caught two white fish. And I've literally hit them in the dang head with the lure, you know, cast right on them and just all they do is run away. Look at the spots on him. Man, that is pretty. Those red and blues. Not a very big guy, probably uh, nine and a half, maybe 10 inches. Let's see how hook he got deep here. How deep he got hooked, I mean. Not too bad, I think we can get this guy out. Put him back in.
Had another one following it there, but my lure was hooked on itself, so it wouldn't have mattered anyway, even if you'd have tried to strike it. Oh, he missed it. Had a hit, guys, and he missed it. Oh, I'm just missing a bunch tonight, guys. I just had another one hit, and I'm just... They're not hitting it real aggressive, and I'm either setting the hook too fast or not setting it enough. Plus, the water is so low, they're seeing me coming from a mile away. And I'm trying to sneak up on them, but the grass on the edge is so high as I try to knock it down to sneak in and cast there. They're seeing me and hearing me. There we go. A jumper. Little guy. <laughs> Look at that. That was four jumps. Four jumps, little guy. Look at that. Can you guys see that? He's, oh, now he got out. He was face down in that weed bed. <laughs> Just literally straight up and down vertical, but he swam out of it, so he's good. Well, that was fish number two. He sure wasn't much to brag about. He was pretty small, but he was an acrobatic little guy. That's one of those that I thought we'd get a fish, guys. That's exactly where I wanted to cast. There should be a fish over there. Oh, there we go. Oh, he got off. Dang it. Another swing and a miss. Or maybe I'd call that a foul ball since he hit it, right? Sorry, guys. I thought I was recording. Story of my life. That's probably the best fish of the night right there. He's probably, I don't know, 10 and a half. He's not 12. He might be 11 if he's lucky. Ooh, these little guys are jumpers tonight. Not big, but they're getting out of the air. Another tiny guy, a little brown. Pretty colored up though. All right, that's fish number four.
<laughs> and a little brown. A little better than the last two, but still not very big. Another jumper. There was another one in there. When he hit it, there was another one following right behind. So cast in there again, see if we can get lucky. No, no follow there. Jeez, I just lost track, guys. Is this number five or number six? I'll have to go back and count. <laughs> I don't remember. That's good, though, right? When you lose track of how many you caught. Another little brown. Not very big, but bigger than the last. About the same size as the last one, bigger than the ones before that. He hit it right when it hit the water. <laughs> I mean, right when it hit the water, he hit it. He about caught that joker out of the air. <laughs> he was a little bigger. Well, he got off the easy way. That's definitely number six, if not number seven. I'll have to go back and count him up. <laughs> But literally, guys, as soon as that lure hit the water, he hit it. 